Today's show is Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, about a second-year student who is constantly teased by a freshman. In the popular destination city of Hayama, high schooler Nayoto Hashioji goes to Kazehea High School. Nayoto is a tall but shy second-year student who loves to draw manga, and he loves the library because he can be alone there. One day, however, he finds a group of popular girls chatting and gossiping in the library, and he tries to ignore them, but he has trouble blocking out their noise while studying. Later, one of the girls happens to walk by and notices his self-drawn manga. When all the girls see the manga they laugh at him, except for Hayase Nagatoro, a first-year student. When the girls leave, Nagatoro stays behind and introduces herself to Nayoto. After reading his manga about a brave hero, she teases him because Nayoto based the hero off of himself, and she torments him trying to prove that his own character is much braver than the actual Nayoto. After reading a fight scene in his manga, Nagatoro shows off her combat moves and duplicates the manga. But Nayoto has trouble reproducing the scene when he has to call her beautiful, and Nagatoro proves he is nothing like his self-drawn character. Nagatoro calls him creepy as Nayoto starts to cry, although she leaves behind her handkerchief for him. That night Nayoto can't sleep as he can only imagine the first year tormenting him over and over. The next day while Nagatoro is teasing him, Nayoto returns her handkerchief to go to the art club. But Nagatoro follows him in to explore the art club. Since they are alone, she volunteers to model for him causing Nayoto much embarrassment. After Nayoto is too shy to draw, Nagatoro correctly deduces he hasn't drawn anything. So she promises that if he draws her Nayoto will get a secret reward. After gathering the courage to draw he finishes that evening, and Nagatoro pretends to give him a kiss as a reward but she slaps him instead. After making fun of him for not completing her drawing, she continues to try to make him cry and then takes care of him with her handkerchief. She promises to give him a better reward next time. Later, she follows him out of the school and asks him out. But when an embarrassed Nayoto doesn't answer her, Nagatoro teases him and says that she was joking. She later pushes him as a joke but since he is too light she ends up pushing him into the canal. A genuinely apologetic Nagatoro wonders why Nayoto isn't angry at her, and Nayoto remembers that throughout his life he has always been mocked so her behavior is normal to him. Nagatoro asks how he is feeling, and Nayoto admits that although he doesn't like her teasing he kind of likes talking to her. Satisfied with his answer, Nagatoro insists on calling Nayoto, senpai, a term for upperclassmen. One day Nayoto is peacefully drawing in the club room when Nagatoro arrives to show off her hula hooping skills. She asks him to join her but punishes him when he gets too close. The next day, Nagatoro sneaks into school an interesting manga about vampire brides. Nagatoro arrives at the club room and he tries to hide it from her, but she quickly determines that he is acting very shady. After catching him with the vampire manga, she distracts him with kind words and then takes the manga from him. After reading and mocking him for reading the manga, she once again realizes that Nayoto sees himself as the main character in the manga and wishes to be like him. She also says that he would be safe from vampires because he is too thin. After he jokes that she is a vampire, Nagatoro takes a serious tone and starts to tease him by showing off her pointy teeth. She teases him by jumping on him but is repulsed when he accidentally exhales garlic breath. Later that day walking home, she teases him again because in their tussle they get too close and before she leaves she hits his stomach. The next day Nayoto returns to the club room where Nagatoro announces they should play a new game together. She proposes they poke each other's chests, but Nayoto refuses. As a reward for whoever wins, they will get a ticket making the other person do anything they want, and after much teasing from her, Nayoto accepts. Nagatoro goes first, and as part of the archery club has good aim so she easily nails him on the chest. Nayoto tries to say she missed but finally says that she got him correctly. When it is his turn, both Nagatoro and Nayoto are too nervous and she claims he is out of time when her phone goes off. That night Nayoto goes to a restaurant to eat when he sees Nagatoro and her friend with two guys walk in. He spies on them while they talk, but notices that Nagatoro seems to look very annoyed. Nayoto looks forward to Nagatoro tormenting the boys, but although she doesn't openly mock them Nagatoro uses dry humor and a serious tone to chase off the guys. Her friend asks her if she doesn't like guys, and Nagatoro brushes her off. That night walking home, Nayoto wonders if Nagatoro only teases him and he runs into Nagatoro who reveals she knew he was spying on them. She teases him by calling him creepy for eavesdropping. The next day Nayoto is again confronted by Nagatoro in the art room. She volunteers to model for him so that he can improve his art skills, and shows off her school swimsuit to his embarrassment, but he refuses. Later after school the two of them get caught in the rain. Nagatoro runs to get shelter, but Nayoto lags behind because he is very weak, so she takes them to a park shelter to wait out the rain. At the shelter, Nagatoro teases Nayoto to look away because she is wearing a white school uniform. But Nayoto accuses her of wearing a swimsuit, 
and turns around anyway to their embarrassment. She wasn't wearing her school swimsuit so he apologizes and Nagatoro continues to torment him. Later after Nagatoro finds out how far away his house is, she invites him to wait out the rain at her house. But when Naoto goes to her house, he becomes deathly afraid that her family will be similar to Nagatoro and will also torment and make fun of him. But Nagatoro reveals that her family will be out of the house for the day. After taking a shower and borrowing her brother's clothes, they drink some tea together as Nagatoro mocks him for being embarrassed spending time with a girl alone at her house. Nagatoro suggests they play games together and introduces a fighting game, which she is pretty good at. But actually she is a complete beginner as Naoto easily starts to win. To prevent him from winning, Naoto distracts him and wins, calling him a scrub. They end up playing several hours together with Nagatoro constantly winning. Naoto later leaves and admits that he had fun at her house. At lunch the next day, Naoto has no place to sit so Nagatoro waves him over to sit with her friends Maki and Yoshi. Naoto is scared that she and her friends will tease him, but sits with them anyway. Her friends tease Nagatoro, and Nagatoro says that Naoto is her boyfriend, although she says he is more like her pet. But when Yoshi tries to mess with his hair, Nagatoro coldly stops her. And when Maki calls Naoto a bug, Nagatoro draws a line at their teasing and starts to get angry. Noticing that she is defending him, Naoto stands up to make a proclamation that he is not her boyfriend, but sheepishly sits back down. The next day at the club, Nagatoro tries to teach Naoto how to fight back when he is mocked, and starts a mock class to teach him. She tells him to slap others if they mock him, and they practice with her teasing him and Naoto defending himself. But when Nagatoro makes fun of his messy hair, Naoto starts to cry because she is taking it too far. Nagatoro apologizes, but then uses the chance to tease him further and try to get him to lash out. But his aim is bad, which embarrasses them both. Naoto is washing hands in the art room after working with oil paintings, when Nagatoro arrives to tease him again. After she spilled juice on her hands, she mocks him for washing hands with her, and then washes his hands for him. And Naoto quickly runs away in embarrassment as a satisfied Nagatoro watches him flee. The next day Naoto is having a peaceful day in the club room without Nagatoro to bother him, but her friends Maki and Yoshi arrive. Naoto remembered how they teased him at lunch so he does not look forward to interacting with them. Although they are looking for Nagatoro they decide to stay and watch him eat. After making fun of his lack of experience with girls they relentlessly tease him, and before he can run, force him to grab bean cakes from Maki. But soon after Nagatoro arrives and amused, and her friends quickly run away. A disappointed Nagatoro acts coldly towards Naoto who tries to defend himself and explain Maki's trick. Nagatoro quickly cheers up and challenges him to take a premium bean cake from her. However, he must guess correctly where she is hiding the buns. But when Naoto makes a mistake that embarrasses Nagatoro, she quickly punishes him, and they awkwardly eat lunch together. Later, Naoto returns to the art room to draw, and he remembers Nagatoro in the past demanding he draw her instead of useless fruit. Nagatoro later arrives dragging a sofa from another club room so that she doesn't have to hit in a chair. From the art club, Naoto watches his other classmates, and he discusses his lack of popularity with Nagatoro. Nagatoro encourages him to praise others to become more popular at school, and she asks him to compliment her. At first Naoto's compliments are weak, but when he gives her a heartfelt compliment she becomes embarrassed. Nagatoro quickly gets over it, and compliments the random and twitchy facial expressions he can make while he is getting teased. They later move on to drawing Nagatoro while she is posing, and Naoto has to make her stop teasing him. Still, Naoto has a tough time drawing Nagatoro, and it takes him several hours to accomplish nothing. Nagatoro makes fun of his lack of progress, but quickly falls asleep on the comfortable couch. And since she is asleep, Naoto is given enough time to sketch her on his easel. Nagatoro wakes up and is impressed with his sketch, and then rewards him by making him kiss a small stuffed animal. One day Nagatoro arrives at the art club to tease Naoto as usual, but somehow he ignores her teasing no matter how much she tries. A surprise Nagatoro sees Maki, and Yoshi arrive who ask if Naoto prefers to hang out with them, to Nagatoro's shock. They leave the art club together and Nagatoro wakes up in the real world, shocking Naoto. An embarrassed Nagatoro, spooked from her dream, tentatively tries to compliment Naoto. Later Naoto has a bad feeling, and Nagatoro gets up from the couch to tackle and tickle him. They sit on the couch together and Nagatoro tells him that she isn't ticklish, and challenges him to try to tickle her. An embarrassed Naoto attempts to try but a nervous Nagatoro quickly declines. Nagatoro later finds a video of a sheep getting its wool sheared, and shows Naoto. She notices his long hair looks like sheep's wool and proposes that he gets his hair cut. After playing with his hair, she offers to shear his hair with a pair of electric shavers. A frightened Naoto insists that he is not a sheep and tries to run away, admitting a fear of shavers. So Nagatoro relents and decides to use a brush and pair of clippers. She insists that she will give him a small trim, but before they can start Nagatoro gets a call from her friends to go to their classroom. However, the call was just a trick by her friends to get her to leave the art club. Naoto despairs when he sees Maki, 
and Yoshi arrive at the art club, and they soon find the electric shaver. Yoshi holds Naoto hostage as Maki threatens to shave him with the shaver, so Naoto defends himself by spinning. Meanwhile, Nagatoro hears them yelling and finds her friends attempting to shave Naoto. Maki and Yoshi decide to make a quick retreat leaving Nagatoro frustrated. Later, Nagatoro trims Naoto's hair to a more reasonable length. Then after he compliments her, she teases him out of embarrassment. Later Summer arrives with an unbearable heat on them. So while walking home, Nagatoro suggests they go buy some shaved ice to help them cool down. But when they arrive at the shop they find a huge crowd and a line to get the shaved ice. Naoto suggests they go to a convenience store instead, but Nagatoro insists they line up for as long as it takes. While they are lining up, Naoto stands between Nagatoro and some suspicious guys. But the heat soon takes a toll on Nagatoro, and she starts to hallucinate. Naoto decides to force her to leave the line and they head to a park to let her hydrate. Although she feels better, Nagatoro is disappointed they couldn't get the shaved ice so she decides to go buy them ice cream. Later as they walk home, they talk about their summer break plans and Naoto is a little sad he won't get to see Nagatoro very much over the summer. But Nagatoro asks for his number so they can text each other over the summer, and Naoto hesitantly agrees. After showing him a line sticker, Nagatoro runs away and later starts to spam him with messages. One day Naoto wakes up to see a hooded girl watching over him. A confused Naoto finds himself in an otherworldly plane, where the hooded girl tells him that he has been chosen to become the savior of this world. She also tells him that because of his lack of experience with girls, he can become a powerful wizard. And after giving him a staff, she sends him on his way. Naoto falls out of the sky to land in a fantasy world with dragons and monsters. Immediately, Naoto is attacked by a large lizard, and he is forced to run away when it shrugs off his magical attacks. Just when he is cornered, Nekotoro appears and saves him by punching the lizard into the water. Nekotoro is a boxing cat who looks suspiciously like Nagatoro, and insists that he follow her. The two fight monsters and travel together when they arrive at the lair of a large dragon. Nekotoro attempts to fight the dragon with her combat skills, but is thrown off. And when the dragon tries to destroy her, Naoto defends Nekotoro with his staff. Naoto and Nekotoro then combine their magic to create copies to distract the dragon and empower Nekotoro to deliver a powerful blow that defeats the dragon. Naoto then watches as the dragon changes into Maki who greets Nekotoro happily. Meanwhile, Yoshi hatches out of a Yoshi egg. The four travel together to the Demon Lord's castle to confront the final boss, but they find the throne room empty. Nekotoro reveals that in fact, she and her friends were all Demon Lords and that Naoto has fallen into their trap. Naoto attempts to retreat, but the Demon Lords capture him and announce they will torture him forever. Naoto then wakes up in the real world after napping at a restaurant, where Nagatoro and her friends arrive in the real world. Nagatoro finds his rough sketches of Nekotoro, and happily starts to tease him for giving her cat-like features. Later during the summer, Naoto is watching television when Nagatoro calls to mock him for wasting his summer break. She insists they go visit the beach together, and Naoto meets with her to see Nagatoro and her friends. On the way to the beach they compare his demeanor to a loner sea lice, and Naoto prepares for a stressful time. And after arriving on the beach, Naoto refuses to swim with the rest of them to draw in the shade instead. In the water, the girls race against each other but Nagatoro easily wins because she is on the swim team. But she also notices Naoto continuing to sit and draw while everyone else is having fun. Nagatoro then teases him and insists that he swim with the rest of them, and Naoto becomes afraid of going into the water and potentially drowning. She later gives him sunscreen and pushes him into the water. Surprisingly, Naoto has a good time at the beach and that night he thanks Nagatoro for inviting him, and the trip inspires him to draw her on the beach. Naoto is missing Nagatoro's presence during the summer, and to pass the time he plays video games by himself. He finds himself wondering if he should contact Nagatoro, but decides not to as he feels contacting her would be too embarrassing. After playing video games, he decides to go to a summer festival himself. And at the festival he becomes jealous seeing couples having fun. Suddenly he runs into Kami and Yoshi. And although he tries to run away, they quickly catch up to him and tease him for coming to the summer festival alone. They tell him that Nagatoro is busy so she isn't at the festival. And they refuse to let him go. After capturing Naoto, the girls take a picture of him and send it to Nagatoro, who becomes angry. Soon Nagatoro arrives at the festival from school to confront her friends. She tries to grab the leash that they have put on Naoto, but Maki refuses. Maki challenges Naoto for ownership over the leash, and they go to the festival to win prizes. As they are all enjoying the shooting game together, Nagatoro teases Naoto wondering if he was too embarrassed to ask her to visit the festival with her. But she lightens up and tells him that later that summer they will go somewhere together. The rest of the night, all four of them play different festival games together to win different prizes. And although Maki declares victory by having more prizes, Nagatoro wins in quality by earning a huge stuffed squid. 
She celebrates her win and takes off Naoto's collar. Waki and Yoshi then leave the festival, leaving Naoto and Nagatoro alone. The two of them decide to eat food together, and Nagatoro teases him that they're almost acting like they are on a date. She teases him by offering her hand to hold, but then becomes distracted by fireworks. But the two of them find that the fireworks line is way too long, and Naoto suggests they take an alternate path through the bushes instead. Nagatoro gets trapped inside the line until Naoto pulls her out. They head into the woods into a secluded spot to watch the fireworks, and Naoto reveals that when he was a child he discovered this secret place. Nagatoro then teases him for dragging a girl alone to a secluded area. She calls him sleazy, but when he calls her out on her teasing she challenges him to make a romantic move. But when the two realize other couples are at the spot making out, the embarrassed duo run away. On the way home, Nagatoro muses that she would like to wear a traditional yukata next time, and Naoto tentatively proposes the idea that they properly attend next year's summer festival, greatly pleasing Nagatoro. Soon summer is over and Naoto heads back to school. One day he finds Nagatoro spending time with her friends gossiping in a park. Naoto feels like he is too unpopular at school so he avoids talking to them, but he becomes concerned when a group of guys approach the girls. One of them pressures Nagatoro to hang out with him, and a surprisingly courageous Naoto reveals himself to ask Nagatoro to walk with him. Nagatoro easily accepts, and her friends leave instead. Naoto receives some rare compliments from Nagatoro and her friends, because they all thought the other boys were annoying and he helped them get away. He also formally meets another of Nagatoro's friends, named Sakura. At the club room, Nagatoro makes fun of Naoto's feeble body, and declares that he should try to get into muscle training, and that with her help he can turn from bean sprout into bodybuilder. Naoto refuses unless there are exercises he can do without having to move and Nagatoro challenges him to do plank exercises while she is sitting on top of him. The Nagatoro gets too into it while encouraging him, and they attract the attention of some of their classmates, causing Naoto to quickly fail. Later, after a new game is released Naoto's grades begin to slip because he has become too focused on gaming. Nagatoro reminds him that school-wide midterms will begin soon, and she quickly determines that Naoto has been blowing off study. Grimly proclaiming that he would have to repeat a grade if he doesn't start studying soon, she teases him that he would end up in the same class as her when she moves into her second year, facing the possibility that he would share classes with Nagatoro and end up endlessly teased by her, Naoto doesn't think that it would be a bad idea, but an embarrassed Nagatoro insists that he study and pass. Later at the library Naoto tries to do some catch-up studying while Nagatoro and her friends watch and make fun of him. They raise the possibility that Naoto could fail two grades in a row, and then they would all be senior to him. Naoto dreams of a situation where all the girls are his seniors, and he has to obey their commands and quickly determines he needs to study. But Sakura admits that all the girls except Nagatoro are failing as well, so they will have to worry about studying more than him. After midterms finish, Nagatoro is surprised that Naoto has actually scored well. Later Nagatoro goes to the club room when she hears some suspicious noises coming from inside. Imagining a terrible situation, she opens the door to find her friends trying to help Naoto remove a splinter. She rushes in to do the deed herself, but when she and Naoto walk home that day she scolds him for acting too friendly. Nagatoro demands that Naoto help her by carrying her bag for her, but when he refuses they play rock paper scissors to carry each other. Nagatoro loses and becomes enraged carrying his bag. They play the game again and Naoto purposefully loses to cheer up Nagatoro and ends up carrying her bag this time. Finally on their last challenge, Naoto loses and Nagatoro insists that he carry her and her bag home. After making fun of him for carrying a girl, Nagatoro suddenly becomes embarrassed and runs away. That night Naoto becomes worried, but feels better when Nagatoro starts spamming him with teasing messages. She then calls him from the bath which freaks him out and prevents him from studying. Nagatoro accidentally makes things worse when she accidentally turns on her phone camera, and the two of them embarrassingly apologize to each other. The next day at the club room, Naoto is distracted by Nagatoro who has become obsessed with shadow boxing. As Nagatoro practices her moves she challenges Naoto to become her sparring partner. She asks him to stand still while she pretends to box against him. Naoto starts to retreat when she accidentally starts hitting him. Naoto then slips and they accidentally embrace each other, embarrassing them both. Nagatoro later shares the encounter with her friends who also want to try sparring against Naoto, but Nagatoro refuses to let them and gives them nonsensical reasons. She fails to persuade them as the girls all head to the club to battle Naoto while Nagatoro tries to defend him. The next day Naoto is looking forward to peace in the art club, but when he arrives he finds the girls are all there playing around. They reveal that they usually hang out at the dining room, but a group of nerds there are too loud so they retreated to hang out in the art room. He wonders why they haven't got revenge on the group of boys for being too loud, and the girls reveal they sent Sakura to disrupt the group. 
They plan to create jealousy among the boys with Sakura, eventually leading the group of friends to their destruction. Since they are all in the club room now, the girls start to make fun of him but Nagatoro starts to defend him when Maki starts taking the teasing too far. Nagatoro then challenges the girls to find the comics that Naoto hides in the art room, although Naoto insists that the room is completely clean. Secretly, Naoto has been storing some of his comics in the room and he nervously hopes that Nagatoro won't find it stashed in the room next door. Nagatoro becomes frustrated, certain that Naoto is hiding something. Her friends start to tease her, so Naoto pretends to accidentally reveal a comic so that Nagatoro can make fun of him. Satisfied, the other girls leave the club room. The next day Nagatoro arrives at the club room to show off her near earrings. After revealing her tool for piercing ears, she teases him to get earrings himself. Naoto tells her that wearing earrings would be too embarrassing for him, but Nagatoro doesn't think that earrings would be weird for him. She suggests they get matching earrings, which embarrasses Naoto. Naoto then cries from the ear piercing, but discovers that Nagatoro was teasing and she just pinched him instead. Meanwhile, Sakura arrives asking for help. They all go to the restaurant together to comfort Sakura, and she reveals that one of the nerds is stalking her because of their plan. Sakura suggests that Naoto pretend to be her boyfriend which will help to get rid of the stalker, shocking both Nagatoro and Naoto. Nagatoro announces that if they go through with this plan, Sakura will have twice as many stalkers. But feeling pressured, Naoto agrees. He later meets Sakura after school for a pretend date. Since he has never been on a date before, Sakura tells him that she will take the lead, and Naoto gets nervous about the possibilities. The other girls follow behind, including an extremely frustrated Nagatoro. Maki and Yoshi tease Nagatoro that this could lead to a real relationship between Naoto and Sakura, angering Nagatoro. But Sakura teases Naoto that he would really want to be on a date with someone else. Finally, after walking to the coast, Nagatoro takes matters into her own hands and captures the stalker which quickly ends the date. Her friends leave disappointed. But as Nagatoro walks home with Naoto, she happily starts to tease him for acting so awkward on the pretend date. Naoto and Nagatoro are walking home one day, when Nagatoro starts to tease him that she will send him hot snaps. At first he thinks she will be sending spicy texts, but she mocks his wrong assumption and reveals she was talking about spicy hot chicken. Later at school, Nagatoro and her friends watch as Naoto struggles in gym class. As all his classmates pass him, Nagatoro becomes disappointed. After school, Nagatoro approaches Naoto and makes fun of him for running slow. She wonders why he is so slow, and Naoto tells her that his strength is in drawing, and not physical activity. She demands he practice running but when Naoto tries to come up with excuses, Nagatoro declares she will put him on a fierce training regime the next day. True to her words, she shows up at the park the next day in her gym attire which embarrasses Naoto. Nagatoro mocks Naoto for his reaction, and she takes him jogging to train his stamina. The unfit Naoto can barely keep up with Nagatoro, but gains motivation by watching her run. He later tries to run ahead of her so he won't be so embarrassed, but quickly falls behind. When they take a much needed break, Naoto declares that he wants to give up, and Nagatoro calls him a wimp, making fun of his lack of willpower. Nagatoro tries to mock Naoto into getting back into running, which works as Naoto starts to angrily run. Nagatoro then makes fun of Naoto to keep him running, until he later passes out at the park. Nagatoro then decides they need to stretch to cool down, and she guides him into a stretching routine. However, Naoto is very inflexible so he needs Nagatoro to help him do basic stretches. Nagatoro has fun stretching Naoto at the park, but suddenly Yoshi arrives with her dog, embarrassing them both. The next day at the art room, Naoto is thinking about his next portrait. Nagatoro arrives asking if she needs him to model again, and quickly volunteers herself. Naoto explains he needs a portrait for the upcoming school festival, and Nagatoro is shocked when Naoto declines her offer to model for him. Naoto tells her that he needs a guy to model, and Nagatoro teases him with the drawings he made previously. After some teasing, Naoto agrees under the condition that Nagatoro dresses up like the game character Nagatoro. Naoto is certain that Nagatoro will refuse the cosplay, but the tables are turned on Naoto when the next day Nagatoro shows up in the cosplay. Nagatoro is very embarrassed and takes out her embarrassment on Naoto by insulting him. Naoto attempts to compliment her, but Nagatoro punishes him. Later, Nagatoro's friends arrive at the club room to watch Nagatoro model. They all talk about the various activities their classes will hold during the festival, including a yakisoba stand, a haunted house, and a gaming club formed by Sakura. Naoto remembers that last year the art club put on a successful art exhibition, and that the club president handed the club over to Naoto so that the other members could focus on studying for art school. Naoto decides to host another art exhibit for the festival, but the girls make fun of his boring choice. They decide to help him make the activity more interesting, and suggest hosting a cat cafe, or a butler cafe. Meanwhile, Naoto becomes worried when he hears the art club president returning to the club room. 
He insists that Nagatoro and her friends hide in the next door room when the art club president Sana arrives. Nagatoro and her friends listen in on a nervous Nayoto and Sana, and they wonder what his relationship with Sana is. Sana demands to know what the art club will be doing for the festival, and that she has heard rumors of unsavory characters in the art club. She sees the snacks in the art club and announces that the club is not a place for fun. Sana declares that if Nayoto doesn't take his responsibilities at the art club seriously, she will ask the student council president to shut down the art club permanently. Before Sana can leave, Nagatoro and her friends reveal themselves. Nagatoro confronts Sana and declares that Nayoto takes his art seriously, remembering the focus he always had on his skills when they were having fun. Sana declares that if Nayoto can hold a more successful art exhibition than she can, she will allow the club to survive. A worried Nayoto is comforted by Nagatoro who promises to help. The next day, although she promised to help, Nagatoro and her friends can't help but make fun of Sana for how seriously she is taking the challenge. Nagatoro then becomes unhappy when Nayoto defends Sana in front of them. Nagatoro tries to cheer up by saying that they will win easily, but Nayoto is convinced that they will lose to Sana. Although Nagatoro is hopeful for their cat cafe plan, Nayoto explains that Sana is a perfectionist who always wins any competition she enters, and her exhibit last year was popular because she modeled for herself. Nagatoro starts to punish Nayoto for showing her Sana's art, and is suspicious of his appreciation for his club president. Nagatoro and her friends try to encourage Nayoto to draw a better portrait than Sana's, but they are skeptical that Nagatoro would be a good model. Nayoto defends Nagatoro's ability as a model. This cheers up Nagatoro who is excited to take on the challenge. She suggests they use cosplay to differentiate themselves, but Nayoto still sees the club president as an impossible opponent. When they walk home, Nagatoro tries to tease Nayoto to cheer him up, but he is still worried about the upcoming competition. Nagatoro promises to do everything she can to help and the next day she tries on different outfits for modeling. But Nayoto tells Nagatoro and her friends that it might be better that Nagatoro model as her natural self. He also apologizes for getting Nagatoro involved in his club troubles, as it could result in some embarrassment for Nagatoro. An angry Nagatoro then leaves the club room. The next day Nayoto arrives to see that Sana has separated the club room so that she and Nayoto can work separately. She later inspects his work critically and finds it boring and not suited for the festival audience. She calls Nayoto fruit piece passionless when Nagatoro arrives before running off after seeing her and Sana. Sana demands that Nayoto chase after Nagatoro and gather his courage to chase after the first year. Nagatoro continues to run away, and Nayoto thinks about all the memorable times he had with Nagatoro this year. She continues to run further away, and an exhausted Nayoto uses his happy memories with Nagatoro to keep him going. After he catches up to her, Nayoto begs Nagatoro to model for him. Nagatoro refuses at first, but when she almost falls into the school pool Nayoto is able to catch her. They end up both falling into the pool after he asks her one more time, which cheers up Nagatoro. To prepare for the festival Nayoto comes up with several versions of Nagatoro portraits, all portraying the Nagatoro in daily life. Although she is happy with the paintings, her friends wonder if these will be enough to win the competition. And although Nayoto is also worried, Nagatoro assures him that they will win. Though when Nagatoro and her friends spy on the sauna's work, Nagatoro becomes shocked because of how strong the president's portrait is. Nayoto suggests a group portrait between him and Nagatoro, to her excitement, and her friends announce an underhanded plan against the club president. The day of the festival arrives and the art club put together the exhibition. Sana also tells him she won't let him back down from the challenge. She also shows Nayoto a charm that has become popular throughout school, and Nayoto wonders what Nagatoro and her friends are planning. Other students come by to ask about their art exhibits, and Nayoto struggles to communicate effectively. Suddenly, three Torah cats, Yoshi, Sakura, and Nagatoro in disguise arrive to do a dance. Nagatoro is clearly unhappy. Their outfits and dance attract the attention of the school, and they use this opportunity to show off Nayoto's art exhibition. However, even with Nagatoro and her friends driving traffic to the art club by using Nagatoro's talent to tease others, the president still has more traffic. Nayoto becomes irritated when he sees Nagatoro interact with other guys, and Nagatoro also becomes irritated when some girls approach Nayoto. Maki tells Nagatoro to take a break, but they discover Sakura had conscripted a nerd to take her place so she can have lunch early. Meanwhile Nagatoro and Nayoto walk together and Nagatoro feels conflicted with all the compliments Nayoto gives her for helping him model and make the art exhibit a success. After they happily eat lunch together, they hear a commotion from the president's art exhibit. They find that the student guidance committee is shutting down the president's exhibit because her art is too suggestive. As they overhear the proceedings, Nayoto and his friends step in to defend the president. Yoshi also shows video footage of visitors appreciating the president's piece as art. Sana later thanks them and though she is irritated for being disqualified by their competition, she agrees to keep the art club alive. 
When she tries to leave, Nagatoro and her friends demand that Sona be punished for troubling them and they use her to help sell cat toy merchandise during the festival. At the end of the festival, Maki announces they have made tons of money, but Nagatoro heads back to the art club instead to find Sona and Naoto. After analyzing his art, Sana compliments Naoto's skill but appreciates the love that seems evident in the work, embarrassing Nagatoro and Naoto. Nagatoro's friends arrive and they decide to go together to the closing festivities. The next day, Nagatoro is asleep again when Naoto draws her, and after he shows her his newest work, she asks him to close his eyes and gives him an earnest kiss on the cheek before she runs off. Naoto is a second-year high school student who is constantly teased and mocked by his younger classmate Nagatoro. Although at first he hates it, over time he has gotten used to Nagatoro's antics and they seem to have become genuine friends with some growing feelings between them. One day Naoto is reading a manga about a young student council secretary who works under a harsh student council president. But one day, the secretary found the president cheating during an exam and she uses this as blackmail to turn the tables on their relationship. Soon, the secretary uses her advantage over the president to make him do whatever he wants. Naoto finds the manga way too relatable and the secretary reminds him of Nagatoro. Meanwhile, Nagatoro arrives bringing new loafers she wants to show off to him. She teases him to fish for compliments but is disappointed with his lack of reaction. Nagatoro then finds the manga he is reading and she reveals she is a fan of the series because she finds the secretary protagonist very relatable. Nagatoro compares him to the president in the manga and wonders if she can use the moves she learned in the manga. Nagatoro shows him that in later volumes of the work, the president is forced to lick the secretary's shoes. So Nagatoro takes some water and teases Nayoto, but when some water accidentally spills on her shoes Nagatoro changes her mind. Naoto decides to clean it up with a rag instead, to both of their embarrassment. The next day Naoto is walking to school, when he spots Nagatoro. After thinking about all the ways that Nagatoro has surprised him, Naoto wonders if he can try to surprise her this one time. But when Naoto stops himself, Nagatoro reveals that she knew he was behind her all along and she teasingly calls him a stalker. She fake threatens to call the police, when Naoto reveals he has trouble approaching people. Nagatoro decides to help him with approaching people, so they start to roleplay different scenarios of meeting people you know. Nagatoro demonstrates the different ways to greet people, but she gets more and more violent with each iteration. But her last way is hugging him from behind, which makes him incredibly embarrassed. Naoto is determined not to give in to her teasing, but has to beg her to stop when she teases that she will tell everyone at school about their hug. Later Naoto is thinking about greeting her with a pat on her head, or if he actually tried to hug her from behind. But Naoto isn't confident enough until he accidentally trips and hugs her. An embarrassed Nagatoro hits him off when Maki and Yoshi also arrive. They announce that they will be going to a party after school and invite the two of them. Later at school, Naoto is thinking about the after party when Nagatoro wonders why the art club classroom seems to be so warm. Naoto reveals that the AC seems to be broken to her disappointment. She proudly reveals tights that will help keep her warm, but Naoto is surprised that she owns tights. Nagatoro points out their school requires skirts so the girls have to be prepared for all sorts of the weather, and Naoto realizes that Nagatoro usually wears skirts all the time. But when Naoto accidentally insinuates he likes seeing Nagatoro's legs, she pounces on the opportunity to tease him and orders him to help her put on the tights as payment. But when Naoto starts to help her after Nagatoro bruises his pride, he finds that Nagatoro is actually quite embarrassed. Naoto also takes too long, so Nagatoro punishes him by trapping his arm. Afterwards, Naoto compliments Nagatoro on her tights, and they head out to meet Maki, Yoshi, and Sakura. At the sushi restaurant, Naoto points out that he doesn't have much money but Nagatoro tells him to eat as much as he wants. Naoto decides to cut loose and enjoy himself, but finds himself constantly having to get food for the rest of the group. Nagatoro then announces that the group should treat Naoto to some special dishes because of his hard work during the cultural festival. Everyone comes up with different forms of nigiri for him to enjoy by combining different flavors and sushi, but Nagatoro starts to become jealous. But when Nagatoro shows off her creation, everyone calls her new sushi in affront to cooking. Naoto notices the teasing so he eats it anyway, which cheers Nagatoro up so she starts to tease all of them at the table who now want to try Nagatoro's new invention. One evening at school Naoto and Nagatoro are in the art club where Nagatoro is having fun catching snacks in her mouth. After Naoto compliments her on her impressive skills, she challenges him to try and successfully tosses a treat into his mouth. Later Naoto is working in the art club alone, but is feeling uninspired and burnt out while painting. Suddenly the club president Sona arrives and after observing his work proclaims that he has been slacking off on his efforts. She tells him not to rest so easily after the cultural festival and gives him a ticket to the local zoo. Sona tells him that she usually used nature to inspire her when creating art. 
She also gives him a second ticket and tells him he might as well bring Nagatoro. Meanwhile, Nagatoro was walking outside and overheard some of the conversation. After a little spying, she realizes that Nairoto has tickets to the zoo and is secretly happy about the possibility of going. She pretends to act casual in the art club, but notices that Nayoto is having trouble asking her to go to the zoo with him. Nayoto is imagining the fun times he has had with Nagatoro during the summer, so he leads into the zoo question by asking if she likes animals. Nagatoro then starts to tease him as Nayoto struggles to come up with an invitation for her, but she starts to calm down after noticing he is losing his confidence. But after Nayoto keeps struggling, Nagatoro manages to steer the conversation to the zoo, and Nayoto is finally able to ask her to go with him over the weekend. A pleased Nagatoro teases him about his invitation, but easily accepts, much to his embarrassment. Later during the weekend, a dressed up Nayoto meets up with Nagatoro who has also prepared for their zoo date. Nagatoro hasn't been to the zoo in a long time, and Nayoto gives Nagatoro a drawing book. But she becomes disappointed when he reveals that this wasn't actually a date, and he just wants to practice drawing. Nevertheless, Nagatoro has fun watching the animals, especially the red pandas. Though when she tries to share her excitement with Nayoto, he is too focused on drawing. Since he is taking a long time, Nagatoro becomes gloomy but cheers up when he offers to entertain her. Nayoto offers to help teach Nagatoro to draw animal sketches, but while Nagatoro struggles, Nayoto is able to successfully draw the red panda. Nagatoro then challenges Nayoto to teach her to draw in a more hands-on way, but an embarrassed Nayoto thinks that it is too much. Although reluctant, Nayoto eventually agrees to help guide her hand for drawing. But Nagatoro just makes fun of how nervous Nayoto seems to be. In time, Nagatoro makes progress and the two of them go to observe different animals to draw and end up having fun. Later they compare their results where Nagatoro complains about her drawing quality. But Nayoto reveals that he finds her skill as a beginner very impressive, which makes her happy. Nagatoro also compliments his ability to capture the liveliness of animals, and Nayoto starts to feel himself becoming more inspired. Remembering Sana's words, he looks at their work fondly while Nagatoro leaves for the restroom. But while she is gone, two rude strangers arrive and start to tease Nayoto about the art. In particular, they start to make fun of Nagatoro's work, which steadily makes Nayoto very angry and he lashes out at them to defend her work. Nagatoro arrives and seems to recognize the two strangers, who seem to become very nervous after seeing her. After she confronts them and subtly threatens them, they nervously leave Nayoto and Nagatoro alone. Nayoto starts to feel bad that he can't stand up for himself, but Nagatoro had seen him defend her work while she was gone and feels that Nayoto is actually growing in confidence. She gives him a rare compliment, and the two of them head back into the zoo. Nayoto asks Nagatoro what her favorite animal is, and she takes them to the sloth, but this time asks Nayoto to draw separately from her. Later, she shows off that while he was drawing the sloth, Nagatoro was actually drawing Nayoto, comparing his behavior to the slow sloth. At first Nayoto is grumpy with the comparison, but he finds that Nagatoro's skill greatly improved, and she seemed to have worked hard on her art. A pleased Nagatoro then continues to tease him as they leave the zoo together. Later one afternoon, Nayoto and Nagatoro are relaxing in the art club where Nagatoro has just woken up from a nap. She gets a text message from her friends for a girl's night out so she leaves the art club, but accidentally leaves her phone behind. Nayoto notices and decides he will try to return it to her. But since Nagatoro is in a different year he needs to search for her class. After looking around the school, he runs into Orihara who decides to help him find Nagatoro's class after he is able to say Nagatoro's first name which is Hayase. He doesn't find her in her classroom but notices Yoshi and Maki coming out from another class. He then is almost cornered by Sakura and her friends, and Nayoto is forced to hide in a locker in Nagatoro's class. Nagatoro herself arrives and she starts to gossip with her friends while Nayoto is forced to eavesdrop while inside the locker. When Nagatoro's friends Sakura and Nakoba start talking about the type of guys they like, they confront Nagatoro about her type of guy. Nagatoro tries to dodge the question while Nayoto nervously listens, and Nagatoro reveals she likes guys she can casually hang out with. Nayoto thinks about all the times he has been with Nagatoro, but her friends tease her for her plain answer. Nagatoro then discovers she is missing her phone and they wonder if she left her phone in the art club. After they point out that Nagatoro has been hanging out in the art club a lot, Nayoto accidentally makes noise from the locker. Nagatoro and her friends start to become suspicious, and Nagatoro discovers Nayoto in the locker. After Nagatoro finds out that Nayoto was returning her phone, she distracts her friends to help him escape. Outside the classroom, she scolds him for genuinely being creepy and eavesdropping, and demands to know what he has heard while she chases him off. Later one day the school is having a marathon, and in an attempt to impress Nagatoro, Nayoto has been training hard at night to keep up with the group. 
but he still finds himself behind on the day of the marathon. After school starts the marathon, Nagatoro arrives to run alongside him and she challenges him to a race between him and his friends. Nagatoro teases Nayoto on his slow pace after he refuses the challenge, when suddenly Sana appears in a bunny costume and passes them. Nagatoro and her friends decide they need to win against the president, and after calling Nayoto a turtle they help push each other. But Nagatoro and Nayoto get separated by her friends during a red light, so they have to try to catch up to Sana alone. While running together, Nagatoro notices that Nayoto seems to have greatly improved his running ability, and she teases him about the training he must have done. But suddenly Nayoto injures himself and twists his ankle and has to stop running. He asks her to keep going to catch the president, but she decides to help him instead to finish the race. While Nagatoro is helping him, she compares the situation to a dramatic movie, and Nayoto feels embarrassed for getting help but appreciates her help. Suddenly Nagatoro offers to carry him instead, because they will be able to get through the marathon faster. Nayoto refuses at first because he is worried that he weighs too much for her, but Nagatoro continues to insist. Nayoto is impressed with her ability, but also notices that Nagatoro is starting to get tired. He expresses his worry for Nagatoro's health which makes her embarrassed, when suddenly Nagatoro's friends arrive. They decide to work together to carry Nayoto, and their group manage to catch up to Sana and eventually surpass Sana. But a teacher spots them and disqualifies them from the race. A few days later at school, Nayoto notices that Nagatoro has recently been missing from the art club. After texting her about her whereabouts, Nagatoro doesn't give him a direct answer. Nayoto later finds Maki and Yoshi at school, and asks them if they know why Nagatoro hasn't been in the art club recently. After they tease him about his interest in Nagatoro, they reveal that she has been sick for the last couple of days. Maki then gives Nayoto their class homework and tells him to go visit Nagatoro, and drop off her homework for her, wishing him good luck. Later that day, Nayoto goes to Nagatoro's house and brings a gift just in case but he is worried that Nagatoro might be too sick. After nobody answers the door he walks into the courtyard, but is caught spying by a woman who starts to take pictures of him. After teasing that she will call the police, Nayoto defends himself showing Nagatoro's homework, and the woman reveals that she knows him and her name is Misaki, Nagatoro's older sister. Before Misaki had seen Nayoto enter her house, she was shopping for snacks at the convenience store nearby for her, and her sister. But after they clear up the misunderstanding, she invites him into the house. Inside the house, Nayoto awkwardly has tea with Misaki who tells him that Nagatoro is resting and sleeping. Misaki tells him that Nagatoro has told her a lot about him, and she teases him about his friendship with her little sister. Nayoto then notices the pictures of a young Nagatoro around the house, and when Misaki notices she teases him that if he is interested in knowing more about Nagatoro, Misaki can possibly help him. Nayoto thinks about his time this past year with Nagatoro, and realizes that he does want to learn more about the first year so he hesitantly admits that he'd like to learn more about Nagatoro from Misaki. But suddenly a sick and sleepy Nagatoro arrives in her pajamas, who starts to panic when Nayoto sees her in a disheveled state. Misaki teases Nagatoro for her panic, and while Nagatoro is getting ready Misaki apologizes for her behavior. Misaki also tells him that Nagatoro has already recovered from her cold, but is taking the day off. Nagatoro arrives back at the room and starts to argue with Misaki, until the older sister reveals a special pudding that Nayoto had brought as a gift. Nagatoro loves pudding, so although she is still angry that Nayoto has arrived unannounced she begins to forgive him, especially as Misaki uses the pudding to prepare a delicious dessert. Misaki also makes one for Senpai, and uses the opportunity to interrogate the both of them. Nayoto begins to sense a dangerous feeling from Misaki, and Nagatoro quickly orders Nayoto to eat the dessert in her room and to avoid Misaki. While in her room, the two of them enjoy the dessert while Nagatoro is still grumpy with her sister. Nayoto apologizes for arriving unannounced, and Nagatoro forgives him while also thanking for visiting her. While they are enjoying the pudding together, Nagatoro challenges him to allow her to feed him. And although he is embarrassed, she keeps prodding so Nayoto hesitantly agrees since nobody is watching. But when Nayoto starts to eat the pudding, Misaki suddenly arrives with drinks and sees them. Misaki then teases the two of them while Nagatoro tells her sister to leave. Misaki leaves and promises to interrogate Nayoto very soon. Later, Nayoto is thinking about Nagatoro's old pictures and he wants to learn more about her, but he feels that the atmosphere is a little awkward. Nayoto begins to leave, but Nagatoro demands he stay to play a fighting game with her. Last time they played Nayoto destroyed her, so Nagatoro states that she has been practicing hard and has become a much better player. As the two start their match, Nayoto can tell that Nagatoro has been practicing hard, but Nayoto is still about to use his skill to win against her. But when Nayoto is winning, Nagatoro demands he tell her what he discussed with her sister which breaks his concentration. 
and he loses the match. After an unsatisfactory answer, Nagatoro continues to challenge Nayoto and soon Nagatoro is able to win matches against Nayoto. A grumpy Nayoto complains he is out of practice, so Nagatoro decides to challenge him to a game and if he wins she will tell him one of her secrets. A nervous Nayoto wonders what kind of secrets Nagatoro might have, and he shyly agrees to the challenge. But when they start the match, Nagatoro uses the opportunity to keep teasing Nayoto about his intentions for the match, and why he might be interested in her secrets. But when Nayoto admits that he wants to learn more about her first name, Nagatoro becomes shocked. She realizes that she never told Nayoto her first name, but she quickly recovers to her teasing when she interrogates Nayoto on why she wants to know her first name. The two of them accidentally tie, as their match runs out of time and which means that Nayoto has won. An embarrassed Nagatoro then starts to reveal her first name, but Nayoto interrupts her. Nagatoro is confused, until Nayoto tells her that he feels like he wants to learn her first name, but in a more appropriate moment, and that one day he will ask her property for her first name. A touch Nagatoro agrees, until Misaki barges into the room with old school photos to Nagatoro's horror. Nagatoro quickly demands Misaki leave the room, but her older sister ends up showing some pictures to Nayoto. Later that night, an awkward Nagatoro sends off Nayoto, but then gives him a proper teasing farewell. And on the way home, Nayoto thinks about Nagatoro's first name, which he has learned is Hayase. The next day Nagatoro arrives at the club room because she has fully recovered from her cold. She teases him that he should get a reward for visiting her, and proposes that she model for him. But after teasing some poses, she makes fun of his nervous reactions to her poses. Nagatoro then shows off an athletic pose of her kicking, but after Nayoto agrees Nagatoro soon realizes that holding a kick in the air is really difficult. Nayoto notices that Nagatoro is cramping after she stubbornly refuses to give up, and when she falls over Nayoto manages to catch her to both their embarrassment. One morning Nagatoro is walking to school, when she notices Nayoto on the road. She goes to greet him but Nayoto is nervous because he wants to greet her by her first name. He gets too anxious so he doesn't, which makes her disappointed. Nagatoro then pulls on his sleeve and makes fun of his reaction, and she reveals she has been reading articles on the internet about teasing guys. Nayoto claims that he isn't flustered, which makes Nagatoro annoyed and she tries to keep pulling on his sleeve while he avoids her. Nayoto ends up not flustered anymore, and just ends up annoyed until he tries to defend himself and they end up holding hands on accident. Meanwhile, Nagatoro's friends arrive and start to make fun of them and Nagatoro tries to claim she was practicing her judo moves on Nayoto. The next day Nayoto realizes that he might be sick, so his mother asks him to stay home from school. But while he is gone, Nagatoro quickly realizes that he is missing from school after seeing the art room empty. She decides to text him and Nayoto tells her that he is homesick, so Nagatoro calls him because she feels she might have accidentally given Nayoto his cold. She also feels bad after hearing that his parents aren't at home to take care of him. He wakes up after hearing his door ring, and discovers Nagatoro spying on him from the window. An embarrassed Nagatoro reveals that she was checking up on him, and came into the house after nobody answered the door. Nayoto invites her into the house and Nagatoro agrees, and when Nayoto tries to go back to the couch Nagatoro tells him to go sleep properly in his bed to recover. She orders and pushes him to his room but becomes nervous when Nagatoro teases him about searching his room for illicit material. Nayoto is unable to stop her but when he starts coughing she quickly stops teasing him. After putting him to bed, Nagatoro doesn't have a thermometer so she uses her forehead which makes Nayoto extremely flustered. Later that night, Nayoto is slowly getting worse due to his cold, so Nagatoro prepares a water towel to help him. And over the next couple hours she helps him hydrate, and takes care of him. She also explains to her family her whereabouts, and when Nayoto reveals he hasn't eaten anything all day Nagatoro refuses to leave until he has something to eat. Nayoto is worried that her family is worried about her, but Nagatoro is determined to cook her extra spicy curry dish. While she is getting ingredients, Nayoto has sickness-induced dreams about getting married to Nagatoro, and in a daze he accidentally calls the real Nagatoro by her first name, which shocks her. But when Nagatoro tries to get him to say her name again, Nayoto quickly passes out, and falls asleep. A disappointed Nagatoro then watches Nayoto sleep, wishing he would say her name again. But suddenly Nayoto's mother arrives home from work, shocking Nagatoro. The next morning Nayoto is feeling better, and when he goes for breakfast his mother reveals that she met Nagatoro for the first time the night before. After she thanked Nagatoro for checking up and taking care of him, Nayoto's mother starts to tease him and ask Nayoto who she is to his embarrassment. Later on the way to school, Nayoto realizes that he might have accidentally called Nagatoro by her first name while he was in a sickness-induced dream, and when he meets her later he senses that the atmosphere has become a little awkward. But when Nagatoro goes back to teasing him normally, the two of them are accidentally caught into an embarrassing position again by her friends, and Nagatoro uses her judo excuse again. One day Nagatoro is having dessert with her sister Misaki when she asks, 
what would make a good Christmas present. Nisaki quickly determines Nagatoro intends to get Naoto a present and starts to tease her, but she also gives her sister genuine advice. She also tells her to think about what might be useful for Naoto's daily life. Meanwhile, Naoto is dreaming about Christmas with Nagatoro and getting her a special gift. He wakes up from his dream and is anxious about how Nagatoro might react if he actually gave her a Christmas gift. Later at school, Nagatoro and Naoto are leaving after the school closing ceremonies when Nagatoro starts to talk excitedly about Christmas Eve. A nervous Naoto tries to give Nagatoro a present, but before he can they are interrupted by all of Nagatoro's friends. They go into the library together where Maki complains that all the couples in their friend group will be going on romantic dates for Christmas, so all the single girls should have an all-night karaoke for Christmas Eve. The group quickly turns into a big argument, and Naoto accidentally notices that Nagatoro might have a gift for him. He also notices Nagatoro acting suspicious, and she also spots a possible present he might have for her. Maki asks if Nagatoro will join the single ladies for karaoke when Nagatoro insists that she isn't dating. The group tries to force Nagatoro to make a decision, so Naoto and Nagatoro come up with excuses to run away. Nagatoro's friends are unconvinced with the act. Later the two of them are in the art club together where they struggle to try to give each other their Christmas presents. But an anxious Nagatoro and Naoto are unable to properly exchange gifts because Sana the club president reveals herself and interrupts them. They flee again but have to hide in the nurse's office to avoid a patrolling teacher since they are at school after hours. Finally Naoto tries again to give a present, but they discover two students already in the nurse's room and they have to flee again, but keep running into couples. Eventually they have to retreat to the rooftop, but they also find several couples on the rooftop already. Naoto eventually decides he needs to give the present, so on the rooftop Nagatoro opens the scarf that he has given her, and she reveals she also got him a scarf, and after some teasing they leave school. Meanwhile, Nagatoro's friends have fun at karaoke. After Christmas, Nagatoro calls Naoto if he has any plans for the new year. After he reveals that he has no plan, Nagatoro calls him boring for wanting to do nothing for the new year. She tells him that he should go to a nearby shrine for the new year as it is an important tradition. So the next day while wearing Nagatoro's gift, Naoto goes to the shrine. He feels like he should have invited Nagatoro, but discovers that she is already at the shrine wearing a shrine maiden costume. An embarrassed Naoto asks, why Nagatoro is dressed like a shrine maiden, and she calls him creepy for being so interested. Nagatoro then takes him around the shrine showing him the proper traditions, and reveals that she works part-time at the shrine. She guides him into making a fortune and then makes fun of him when he gets a bad fortune. He then leaves her since she has to work, and then is disappointed when his fortune says he won't have good luck with relationships. Nagatoro then goes back in line and embarrassingly asks, to buy a good luck charm from her, even though he intends to ask her to spend time with him after work. After Naoto leaves, Nagatoro teases him in texts and tells him to wait for her to finish work. They then visit more of the shrine together and Naoto accidentally takes Nagatoro to a matchmaking shrine. Nagatoro teasingly wonders if Naoto is trying to ask her out, and Naoto hesitantly admits that hypothetically he might be interested which makes Nagatoro flustered. They then pray at the shrine together and go on a walk together, and when Naoto asks what Nagatoro prayed for, she tells him she prayed for marriage before teasing him that she was just joking. One day Naoto is trying to use contacts, but he has difficulty using them. After giving up, Nagatoro spots them in the art club at school. She teases him when he tells her that he has given up on trying contacts, and Nagatoro challenges him to make a better attempt. She announces that she will help him, but Naoto refuses because he is too scared. Nagatoro assures him that she is experienced with contacts, as she often helps her brother and Naoto hesitantly agrees. Nagatoro then starts to help him put on contacts while Naoto can barely hold himself together because he is too nervous. Finally after both contacts are in Naoto feels like the world seems clear and Nagatoro teases him by trying on his glasses and striking poses with them. Later, the school goes to a ski camp where Nagatoro and her friends are expert skiers. They are watched by Naoto and his friends Hino and Takao and Naoto dreams about impressing Nagatoro by getting skilled at skiing. After practicing skiing, Nagatoro approaches and greets Naoto, and his friends are shocked that he knows one of the popular girls. Nagatoro asks if Naoto will ski with her to his friend's surprise. Nagatoro then takes Naoto on a difficult course, and quickly discovers that Naoto is horrible at skiing after he suffers a minor accident. Nagatoro is determined to help Naoto learn how to ski, and she spends several hours guiding and teaching him. But after hours of failure, Naoto is still having a lot of trouble skiing. Meanwhile, Maki, Yoshi, and Sakura snowboard past them and Naoto is disappointed. 
Later that night, Naoto is with his friends and admits that he hasn't improved his skiing very much. They tease him about his own private instructor, when Nagatoro, who is walking past, asks him to do some night skiing with her. The Naoto declines, to her disappointment, and after she leaves, Maki and Yoshi come over to confront Naoto. Naoto admits that he doesn't want to hold Nagatoro back so that she can have fun on the difficult courses, but Maki tells him that it doesn't matter, and the two of them leave. Naoto then changes his mind and goes night skiing, and he secretly practices on the beginner slopes. But when he continues to have trouble, he thinks about all the things Nagatoro taught him earlier that day, and his dream about impressing her with his skiing ability, this gives him the courage to keep practicing. He then manages to help a skier out of control avoid an accident. Suddenly a skier who is filming and not paying attention almost hits him, when Nagatoro arrives to save him. She admits that she was watching him and teases him about his ski practice. She hesitantly asks him if he would still want to ski together, and they end up continuing their ski training from that afternoon. The next day, Nagatoro is with her friends who wonder if Naoto has improved his skiing ability. But to her horror, Nagatoro watches as he quickly crashes. Soon they return to school, and Sana tells Naoto that she has been accepted into art college and will be leaving for university soon. Sana tells him that it will soon be his turn to head to art school, and although Naoto is determined he is a bit sad, Sana quickly determines that he will miss Nagatoro once he leaves school. And later Naoto wonders after a year with Nagatoro what she wants for her own future. One day Naoto is going through all the old work from former art members and Nagatoro helps him. She wonders if they can sell some of them in an auction for money, but is unimpressed to find Sana's old work. Later Naoto is attempting to do some portraits but is feeling uninspired by all the props they have around the art club. He watches Nagatoro eat and lounge about the club, and when she notices she teases him about watching her. Naoto then admits that he might want to do portraits again, and hesitantly asks if she would model for him again. Nagatoro teases him but agrees, but when she asks for what pose he wants, Naoto doesn't have any ideas. He asks her to adopt something that comes easily to her, and Nagatoro poses in several different fighting stances from different fighting styles. He suddenly finds a pose that he feels is the most natural to her, and he wonders what fighting style it is from. After he finishes, Nagatoro compliments her work but teases him about the details. Naoto wonders where the fighting stance is from but Nagatoro refuses to answer. Suddenly, Maki, Yoshi, and Sakura arrive to tease them when they notice the portrait. Maki wonders if Nagatoro is interested in fighting again, and when Naoto wonders some more, Nagatoro quickly leaves. Later, Naoto is at judo class where he is quickly getting destroyed by all his opponents. He hopes that Nagatoro never sees him like this, but then discovers that Nagatoro has been watching from the window. The judo class announces that there will be a high school tournament, and Naoto returns to the art club. But suddenly Maki and Yoshi arrive with flyers about the judo tournament. They accidentally reveal to Naoto that Nagatoro used to practice judo before, and after Naoto asks, for more information Maki shows him she actually runs a gym. After he notices Nagatoro on the flyer, he decides to go to Maki's gym that weekend. And when he arrives at the gym he sees Nagatoro and Maki practicing, and Nagatoro becomes so distracted she gets knocked out. An embarrassed Nagatoro demands to know why Naoto is at the gym, and Naoto admits that he truly wants to learn how to be better at judo due to his poor performance in last year's tournament. He asks if Nagatoro can help him and an embarrassed Nagatoro hesitantly accepts to coach him. Nagatoro tells him that if she trains him he can't give up and he must win. After some practice, she determines that Naoto does have a little judo training already but when they go into free practice Naoto is quickly intimidated by Nagatoro. She quickly overcomes him because Nagatoro is too terrified and passive, and he finds it impossible to escape Nagatoro's grapples. But when he accidentally calls Nagatoro heavy, she destroys him some more as punishment. Later Naoto is taking a break when he watches Nagatoro and Maki practice, and she shows him that even though Maki is larger and stronger, Nagatoro is able to use her judo skills on her. After returning from the gym, Nagatoro reveals that Maki is still a much better fighter overall. Naoto wonders why Nagatoro doesn't seem to be competing, but Nagatoro refuses to join any tournaments, and that she doesn't like judo very much anymore because there are some opponents that can't be beaten. Naoto can tell that Nagatoro has sad feelings about judo, so he calls her judo skills beautiful to her embarrassment. The next day at school, Sana calls Naoto to join her at the judo class for practice after hearing he intends to join the tournament. But when they start training, an angry Nagatoro interrupts them. Naoto admits that he would prefer Nagatoro as a trainer so Sana leaves. Later after weeks of training, Naoto is practicing his moves in his room and he desperately hopes to win, and impress Nagatoro. Meanwhile, Nagatoro is sadly thinking about her past judo. The start of the judo tournament arrives at school, and Nagatoro quickly wins her first match. Meanwhile, Yoshi wins her match by making her opponent dizzy, and Sakura quickly loses her match. Naoto is determined to do well, and his friends cheer him on. Maki hopes to win her first match, but she is certain she will lose because she will be against Orihara, 
who is an Olympic candidate for Japan in Judo. Naoto notices that Orihara and Nagatoro seem to have history. Waki and Orihara start their match, but while Maki tries to have an aggressive start she is easily destroyed by the fast Orihara. After Maki loses she admits that Orihara seems to have gotten stronger, and she tries to give some advice to Nagatoro who will be Orihara's next opponent. Her friends tease her that she should do well to impress Naoto. Suddenly, Orihara arrives to happily greet Nagatoro, and she doesn't notice Nagatoro's cold responses. Nagatoro wonders if she should forfeit, and she leaves the club alone. Naoto tries to cheer her up for her upcoming match, and Nagatoro tells him that Orihara hadn't always been so strong. She admits that as a young kid Nagatoro grew up practicing judo, and would win lots of tournaments. Orihara was part of the same gym and would always lose to Nagatoro because she lacked Nagatoro's natural talent. But through hard work Orihara was able to get much better at judo, and eventually beat Nagatoro. A shocked Nagatoro then lost interest in judo after losing to Orihara. Naoto tells Nagatoro that she isn't acting like herself, and that the Nagatoro he knows would not give up so easily even if her opponent is set to represent Japan at the Olympics. A touch Nagatoro then tells Naoto she will try her best, but Naoto also has to do well in his own tournament, and she challenges him to win a kiss from her. An embarrassed Naoto feels like maybe he can win, but his first opponent proves to be very intimidating. The school watches Naoto's match, but Naoto's larger opponent is able to score half a point by throwing Naoto to the ground. The spectators realize that Naoto is just being toyed with, which makes Nagatoro angry. But when Naoto is getting pinned and is close to defeat, he thinks about Nagatoro's determination, and all the practice he has gotten from Nagatoro. Then using the training that Nagatoro gave him, he is able to turn the tables and make a counterpin on his opponent. Nagatoro and her friends cheer Naoto on, and Naoto is able to capture his opponent in a pin. But although Nagatoro cheers and gives him advice, they run out of time and Naoto still loses because he couldn't get a complete pin. But to this surprise, his opponent compliments him and his friends congratulate him for his good effort. Naoto notices that Nagatoro seems to be in a better mood, and she heads to her match against Orihara. Their match starts and the class is impressed with how close the match seems to be between Nagatoro and Orihara, who are much better at judo compared to everyone else in the class. But Nagatoro still struggles against Orihara who is still an Olympic candidate. After Orihara scores a half point, Naoto notices the class starts to cheer for Orihara. So at a critical moment, Naoto cheers for Nagatoro to her embarrassment. A determined Nagatoro is then able to perform a full throw against Orihara, but eventually loses the match by referee decision. Later after school, Nagatoro is annoyed after her loss but feels better when Orihara congratulates her for a good match. Nagatoro reveals that she is now motivated to do better and eventually beat Orihara, and she teases Naoto asking if she wins against Orihara if he will give her a kiss. But before Naoto can answer, Nagatoro happily runs away. One day at the art club Naoto is thinking about what his first oil painting for the new year should be. Nagatoro arrives, and Naoto can't stop thinking about Nagatoro's offer to kiss him after her judo match if she manages to win against Orihara. After some teasing from Nagatoro, he asks Nagatoro to model again and she happily agrees. But when Nagatoro decides to use the school swimsuit, Naoto refuses because he is too embarrassed. Nagatoro challenges his pride as an artist, so Naoto eventually agrees. But Nagatoro can tell that Naoto is very distracted while working on the oil painting, and he can't concentrate. Nagatoro then complains that her back hurts from modeling so long, and she demands that he give her a massage to help her relax. Naoto refuses but after Nagatoro complains loudly, he eventually agrees. After an embarrassing massage, Nagatoro admits to Naoto that she has decided to join the judo club. This is so that she can properly train and beat Orihara, and she taunts him about the promise she made. An embarrassed Naoto doesn't believe her, and Nagatoro tells him that she was serious about her promise and is disappointed with his response. She asks him if he wants to kiss her, but Naoto tries to ignore the question. Suddenly, a girl named Hana arrives at the art club who calls Naoto her senpai. Nagatoro becomes suspicious of this new girl, who asks to join the art club. In an awkward introduction, Hana introduces herself as the younger cousin of Sana, the former art club president. Hana was also taught by Naoto when they were both in middle school, which makes Nagatoro very suspicious. Naoto introduces Nagatoro, who punishes him for not introducing her very confidently. Suddenly Hana tells them that she overheard their earlier conversation about kissing, and she asks if Naoto and Nagatoro are in a romantic relationship. The embarrassed pair quickly deny the relationship, but Nagatoro also punches Naoto for denying too quickly. Hana confirms that Nagatoro isn't technically part of the club, since she has recently joined the judo club. Hana points out that it likely just be her, 
and Naoto in the art club since Nagatoro will be focused on Judo, which makes Nagatoro very suspicious. Nagatoro then tries to persuade Hana to quit the club because of how suspicious and creepy Naoto acts. But Hana defends Naoto since she also can act suspicious at times. Suddenly, Maki arrives to fetch Nagatoro as she has also joined the Judo club. Nagatoro apologizes that she can't finish modeling, and Maki notices that she seems disappointed to leave. Hana then tries to volunteer to be a model too, but Nagatoro refuses. Later at the judo club, Nagatoro has trouble concentrating as she is thinking about the art club situation. Meanwhile at the club, Hana points out that Naoto's art seems to have greatly improved in color and vibrancy since joining high school, and she wonders if Nagatoro has something to do with his improvement. At the judo club, Orihara approaches Nagatoro, and asks her if something is distracting her. Maki tells Orihara that Nagatoro is worried about Naoto, a guy in the art club and she starts to gossip with Orihara about the arrival of Hana, a new challenger to Nagatoro's anger. With Naoto and Hana, he tells her about all the trouble Nagatoro causes him, but Hana can tell that he is uncertain about his feelings. Meanwhile Maki and Orihara continue to tease Nagatoro about her feelings, which she continues to deny, and Hana dramatically concludes that Naoto and Nagatoro must be in some forbidden love, and that she has gotten advice from her cousin Sana that love must be pursued at all costs. Naoto is embarrassed at Sana's influence over her younger cousin, when suddenly Hana demands he ask Nagatoro out on a date. Naoto is shocked by Hana's demand and he can't help but dream about a romantic date with Nagatoro, eventually leading to a kiss on the beach at sunset. He refuses, but admits that he did have fun with Nagatoro at the zoo one day. Naoto tries to argue that Nagatoro isn't interested in him, and will just make fun of him, but Hana tells him that it is up to Naoto to determine what he needs to do. The two of them leave the art club together, where Sana arrives to pick up Hana on a motorcycle. Naoto is surprised to see Sana, who notices that Naoto seems to be troubled by something. Naoto doesn't want to complicate things by involving the president, but Hana quickly tattles on him and tells Sana about Naoto's relationship issues. Sana then orders Naoto to follow his heart, which makes him think of Nagatoro, and the two cousins leave on their motorcycle. After they leave, Naoto notices that the judo club is still working so he goes to watch them, when he suddenly runs into Nagatoro. Nagatoro asks if Naoto was looking for her, and she teases him when Naoto can't admit that he was waiting for her. The two of them end up walking home together and Nagatoro teases him about Hana joining the club. Nagatoro also misses hanging around the art club and asks Naoto if he misses her. She then punishes him for answering weakly, and wonders if there might be a way to hang out outside of the art club. Her words make Naoto think about Hana and Sona's advice, and he decides to try to ask Nagatoro to go out on a date with him. Nagatoro immediately understands what he is trying to do so she starts teasing him, and she tells him that she would like to climb Mount Everest. Naoto imagines falling off the mountain, so Nagatoro suggests other places like the African savanna, the North Pole, and space. But when Naoto gets demoralized and starts to change the subject, Nagatoro suggests they can go to something normal, and Naoto suggests the movies. But when Nagatoro calls the movies kind of normal, Naoto becomes demoralized again. Nagatoro then recovers the situation by inspiring Naoto, who suggests they could go to the racetrack. Nagatoro points out that they can't gamble since they are in high school, so Naoto suggests dog fighting which angers Nagatoro. The two of them leave before they can decide, but when Naoto passes a penguin sign he rushes back to ask Nagatoro to go to the aquarium with him. Nagatoro orders Naoto to ask her properly, and Naoto hesitantly manages to ask Nagatoro on a practice date. But instead of making fun of him like he thought, Nagatoro happily agrees, while Yoshi and Maki who are spying cheer for them. The next day Nagatoro is in a good mood while she is walking with Maki, and Yoshi, and enlists Yoshi to help her do a happy dance. Meanwhile in the art club, Hana notices that Naoto seems to be distracted and Naoto reveals to her that he managed to ask Nagatoro on a date to the aquarium. Hana dramatically congratulates him and praises his courage, but Naoto becomes embarrassed when Hana seems to be taking the news too well. Later Maki and Yoshi also notice that Nagatoro seems distracted, but when they notice Nagatoro has a suspicious look on her face they decide they might need to warn Naoto of her unusual good mood. Maki and Yoshi head to the art club to find Naoto but Hana is the only person in there, and she is suspicious of them because of their delinquent reputation. Hana also misinterprets Maki and Yoshi's intentions and thinks they are trying to sabotage the date. The next day is the day of the date and Naoto nervously waits for Nagatoro wearing his contacts. When Nagatoro shows up they happily greet each other, meanwhile Maki, Yoshi, Hana, and Sana are watching from afar. Naoto and Nagatoro take a train together to get to the aquarium. And while on the train, Nagatoro teases Naoto about the date claiming that she is just helping Naoto practice dating. She points out that his outfit needs some work and docks him some dating points, and she tells him that he needs to have a good score if he wants to date well. Meanwhile, Nagatoro's friends spy on them while in disguise and they are determined to take embarrassing pictures of the couple while on the date. 
Hana and Sana follow the train on their motorcycle, and Hana is on a mission to protect Naoto's love for Nagatoro. Though when everyone arrives at the aquarium, everybody gets separated due to the crowds which allows Naoto and Nagatoro to enjoy the aquarium together in peace. While enjoying the penguins together, Nagatoro takes a selfie of the two of them. And while on the date, Naoto feels much more nervous than usual. Nagatoro notices several couples holding hands and tries to give Naoto a hint that she wants to hold hands. When he is unable to understand her request, she steadily docks him dating points until he notices the rest of the group spying on them. Naoto suddenly grabs Nagatoro's hand to escape, which makes Nagatoro happy since they are finally holding hands. Waki and Yoshi try to give chase, but Hana stands in their way and refuses to leave. They prepare to fight, until Sana appears and Nagatoro's friend quickly retreats due to her prowess. Meanwhile, Naoto and Nagatoro decide to get ice cream and Nagatoro decides to challenge herself with spicy wasabi ice cream. Nagatoro then challenges Naoto to try some, teasing him about getting an indirect kiss from her, but Naoto refuses because he is bad with spicy food, but they accidentally mix their ice cream together. Later the two of them go to an aquarium show, and Naoto notices a lot of couples at the aquarium. He feels out of place amongst the couples, and that he doesn't deserve to be at the aquarium with Nagatoro. Though when an orca almost splashes them, he is able to protect Nagatoro from the wave. Nagatoro happily gives him a towel to dry off, and they continue spending their date at the aquarium. Eventually they head to the nearby beach at sunset, where Nagatoro announces his official point tally after the date is 50 out of a thousand points. She teases him that he will need to try to do better next time, and that he will probably need to practice more with her. Naoto hesitantly asks if the date was good practice for Nagatoro as well, and she tells him that for her it was a real date. Naoto answers that he felt the date was real too, and it wasn't for practice. Nagatoro then asks if they should do something to complete the date. Meanwhile, Maki and Yoshi try to interrupt the date until Yoshi grabs Maki, and asks her to stop. The two of them agree to get out of Nagatoro's way, and are caught by Hana and Sana. On the beach, Nagatoro suggests that they could either hug or they could kiss, and she gives him the choice while teasing him. Naoto hesitates, so they mutually decide to hug instead. But before they can hug, they notice Hana and Sana chasing Maki and Yoshi on the beach, which destroys the mood. The next day at school, Nagatoro is hanging out with Sakura who asks her to forgive her friends, and eventually Nagatoro agrees as long as they head to the art club. But when they arrive, Nagatoro discovers Hana feeding Naoto. A suspicious Nagatoro is told by Hana that she is giving Naoto an apology meal for her actions during the aquarium date, and she reveals that she will cook for him for a whole week. A defiant Nagatoro announces that she will cook for Naoto instead, and she offers him her lunch, but Naoto is worried that she will need energy for her judo practice. Everyone is disappointed with his response, until Naoto tells Nagatoro that he should cook for her instead so that she will have meals to help her through judo practice, and Nagatoro happily agrees. And later that evening, Naoto and Nagatoro finally get their hug together. And this is all for this video, make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.